Welcome back to another petite haul. I hope you guys are enjoying the holidays. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Gafey. I'm someone that loves to do unboxings. I love to play with accessories, makeup, you name it. And most of all, I just love to shop. I shop anywhere. I like to try new brands. I love to do petite hauls. I not only shop in the petite section, but I love to try other brands and see how they fit petite women like myself. But it doesn't mean that you have to be petite to watch this channel. You just have to love fashion and just join this community of fun. I'm just enjoying it here and just love putting content out and love, love to do the same thing and watch other YouTubers do the same. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a petite haul. Lately I've been really into thrifting but I just I can't stop. I'm always looking for secondhand pieces that are good quality. I'm also looking for petite sizes and I tend to be pretty successful, I think. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys a few thrifted pieces that I picked up and collected in the past few weeks. And I'm probably gonna keep doing this because I really do enjoy it for many reasons. I love looking for really good high-end products that are secondhand or pieces that are like more vintage I'm trying to look for more or less fast fashion i know what kind of things that i personally like to look for i tend to go and look for the same pieces and hopefully find them when i thrift so a few pieces in here are petite sizes some are accessories and then some are just regular size clothing but anyway i want to show you guys what i picked up so give me a quick second i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what i have because it is the season this is a Christmas cardigan that my boyfriend thrifted for me and I absolutely love this piece. It is in a petite size. We are suckers for holiday or Christmas like swag. Like I can't stop looking for Christmas items and I'm one of those people that I love to shop the after Christmas sale and just store them until next Christmas for me to wear because buying things at regular price for Christmas or before Christmas, they tend to rob you in prices. Ugly Christmas sweaters are a thing for the past, I don't know, five, seven, ten years. I have a lot of store-bought ugly Christmas sweaters. This probably has to be one of my favorites. I think my boyfriend bought this for like five dollars at the thrift store and to me this is like a definition of an ugly christmas sweater but it's not ugly it's so weird i can't explain it but it's like an actual christmas sweater that was made a long time ago it's really heavy duty and i just absolutely love this i wear this over dressy dresses too and it just gives it that character and i get a lot of compliments when i wear them super cute i'll show you guys this really quickly when i do my try on for this video but anyway let's get into the pieces that i got I'm gonna start off with the shoes. I've been really into Oxfords and penny loafers lately. Good quality, real leather ones can cost a lot of money. So because of that, those are pieces that I really keep my eye out on for at thrift stores. So I purchased two in the past month or so. So here is a pair of patent Oxfords from, my gosh, you guys are gonna have to help me pronounce this, from Claudie Pierre Lowe. Pierre Lowe, I think it's French or Italian, I'm not sure. Help! <laughs> Um, I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that. I don't know if you guys have heard of the office of Angela Scott. That brand of loafers are just ridiculously expensive, but they're such beautiful like Oxford shoes. And one day I'll treat myself to a pair, but right now, not really. I, if I ever find a pair of those thrift, at a thrift store, oh, I'm definitely jumping on that. I've looked up this brand. I would say they're pretty comparable. They have pretty high end uh, Oxford shoes. They usually retail for like, 230 maybe more I jumped on them I paid about 60 something dollars for them and I thought it was a deal and when I got them in I swear I it did not disappoint I'm gonna show you guys up close what they look like it has that vintage design here like that traditional Oxford detail except with a little bit of bling there's a little bit of studs and pearls attached uh, at the top and I thought that was so pretty and it reminded me of the office of Angela Scott brand. They just match with everything. So the next thing I picked up was another pair of Oxfords, but this one is also patent. It doesn't have as much bling, it's more simple, and it has a little bit of a heel, which I like. I tend to like to wear heels, but not so high so I can walk in them all day. So I thought this was perfect. And this is from, uh, here we go again with the brand, Louise Etsy. I know this is French, right? Help me out here, guys. <laughs> I love these. I've already worn these a few times and I just love them. And these are also in a seven. And um, again, it was a great fine thrifting. So these are the two pairs of shoes that I purchased. The next thing that I purchased was a petite denim dress. 
can't read the brand but I got this in a petite small. One thing too to keep in mind when you're shopping at thrift stores, you tend to find things that are off season. Here is a long petite denim dress. It's sleeveless, it's buttoned down all the way. And then it also has a belt attached to it. I thought this was really cute to add to my denim collection because I love denim in all shapes and forms. And I thought it was really cute. I think I only paid like 17 Oh, you know, it could have been less. I think it was like $12. One of the things that are really popular again are the cutout sweaters or tops. If you don't want to invest in these tops that you know were really popular like 10 years ago, thrifting, again, is a reason why it's so much fun to go and do that because fashion is like a cycle. Things that are popular now are gonna go out of trend, give it a few years, they're gonna come back. It's just like bell bottoms and wide leg jeans. Those are coming back again. So the cutout sweaters, definitely in right now i didn't want to pay regular price for them because i knew i've had them at one point and then just kind of donated them at another so i went and looked for um and they have quite a bit at thrift stores so here i got a really nice basic like neutral color i thought this was really cute it's a really nice quality it's from the brand intermix and they are also a high-end brand that sells pieces for a uh, I would say too much money <laughs> but I saw this I had to pick it up it was in great condition I thought it was really cute because it does have like kind of like the cut off shoulder here with this like really cute tie detail and then the cuff here was really cute because it kind of matches the shoulders um, and I thought this was a really good find I think I paid like only like $28 for this this is in a regular size of course so not petite the next thing that I purchased is a relaxed fit button-up shirt the oversized fit ones are really in right now and one way to go about finding this for a cheap price is going in the men's section at the thrift stores that's where I went to find this really cute really nice muted yellow this is an Eddie Bauer it's in a size medium. I purchased this at Goodwill for $6.99. I don't know why, but it says it's purple here. I'm pretty sure this isn't purple, but either way, um, I love it. It's oversized and I think it's super cute to add to my collection. These things can go up to like $50 to $80 or maybe even $100 depending on where you go to purchase them. But this was in great condition. Love the color very retro and I thought this was really cute. Next two things I found, very similar in color, is from Banana Republic. I got this in a size 4 petite. It's like a really cute like trench coat slash dress. I thought this was adorable. When I saw this, I had to pick it up because I don't see anything like this anymore. Gives me Beyonce vibes. Wear these with like knee high boots and it would be like fire. Like you would look amazing. But anyway, I love this style of dress because it's loose fitting. I don't tend to like to wear fitted things. I don't think I paid a lot for this either. I think maybe around the $26 range. But I thought this was a really unique find. This one is from the brand Scene Worn Kept. And it is in the size for petite. Never heard of the brand but i thought this was like a fun vintage piece it's like a double breasted army green midi dress and it has pockets and i picture myself wearing it with like a black turtleneck like with what i'm wearing right now over it with some cute boots and i think it would look so awesome definitely vintage look very unique find for sure i don't i don't think i paid more than 30 dollars for this but this is something that I know I don't see very often and that's where I tend to gravitate towards when I do shop. It does have like a belt included, thought that was fun. So that's everything that I purchased. Definitely a lot of fun stuff. I'll go ahead and try these on so you guys can see what they look like and um, yeah, give me a few seconds, I'll be right back. These are the patent Oxfords that I picked up with a little bit of a chunky heel super cute these are great comfortable you can wear with almost anything honestly the patent color makes it a little bit more dressy but you don't have to wear it that way this is my holiday cardigan that was thrifted last year this one is in a size small petite super cute this is honestly well made super warm and chunky i always get compliments on this let me show you the detail really cute well made cardigan here it's honestly my favorite look at all these little details um, even the back has something fun. This is honestly my go-to holiday outfit. Um, at least my holiday piece here. So much fun. 
Here's the yellow oversized button-up Oxford shirt. I love this. I love the color. And I'm just glad I found it at like $7.99. Like this is something that I've been looking for. It's a great staple piece to wear over and over in your closet. It'll go with so many things. Really comfy. Definitely that oversized look. And I think this is just a great find. I think if anyone is looking for anything in a thrift store, this is a piece to definitely go and find in the men's section. And I just love this. This is the shoulder cutout sweater from Intermix. And I think this is a really pretty feminine little sweater here. I think it's really cute, really on trend right now. It's not quite as fitted as most cutout tops are, but that's kind of how I prefer it anyway. So you get kind of that like cutout look, but more of that loose fit, which I think is also very feminine and understated at the same time. It's a really nice like beige color. I love this like tie detail here. I'm gonna get up close so you guys can see. You can adjust it. It is a little bit looser, so I can make it a little bit tighter if I wanted but it is a really nice, heavy, chunky sweater fabric, which is really cute. And then the, the cuff here is really pretty and you have that little tie detail. Anytime you add like, like bows to your outfit, it just makes it that much more girly and I really do love that. Really cute, it's not cropped or anything. It does run a little bit oversized. You can always like front tuck it if you want, um, but I think this is a really cute little staple here. So here is the next piece that I picked up. This one I got in a size small petite. I think it might just be slightly snug at the chest area, but I can probably fix that. But overall, my gosh, this is such a pretty like vintage piece here. You rarely ever see double breasted dresses nowadays. And on top of that, it's a petite size. Like I had to pick this up. I knew it was really unique. I love this army green color. The buttons are functioning, so you definitely have to unbutton everything and button them back on. Um, there are pockets, but they're still sewn together. Like, I think this piece was like less than $25, um, and it came with this belt here. I thought wearing it with a black turtleneck would make it more like fall-esque, and I just paired it with some soft black booties that look like it would tie the whole look together. And I think it's just got some really cute vintage vibes. I think I can probably even wear like a black beret with this and it would just look so chic. It lands mid calf and there's also slits on both sides, but it's like modest slits. It's not like it goes way up, but it's just right above my knee, but super cute. I am just like obsessed with this. I love this so much. Really cute little find here. So here's the next piece. It's this long sleeveless button down denim dress. I did get this in a size small petite. Again, this is a piece that I probably bought off season. This is something that you can wear during the spring or summer without anything underneath, just so I can kind of make it more fall-esque. Denim is something that can be worn year round. You just have to accessorize it, right? And I did the same thing. I wore the same black long sleeve turtleneck underneath and paired it with some booties as well. This is definitely a more lightweight denim. The buttons are functioning. You have to unbutton everything to take it off. You can actually even wear this open and I thought it was really cute. Like it has like the a belt attached to this as well and it also lands right at my ankle to give me more height, wear it with a little heel. I thought the back was really cute because there is a little bit of a stretchy part to the back here, I'll show you guys. I thought that was a really cute detail. It has like little pockets up front um, and it has a collar here. So really cute. Like if I wanted to wear this during this warmer season, I could just wear it as is without anything underneath. But I just love the longer dresses for fall. And that's definitely what I had my eye out on for this like cool weather season. Almost gives me more of like a 70s vibe, but just like a little fun little piece here.
This is the trench coat mini dress from Banana Republic. And I did get this in a size small petite. And again, another dress that I think is so unique is like a trench coat dress, basically. I'm gonna come up close so you can see. It has like that little flap here, just like that traditional trench coat look. It has like a little pocket here on the left side, and then two front pockets on the side here, which I think is really cute. And it's like a snap button closure with like a collar as well. And it has like this little belt attached to it. You can take this off, change the belt for something different, maybe a different kind of belt if you want it. I wasn't sure how short this was gonna be, but it's perfect. It's not like too short or too long. Because it is a petite size, I feel like it fits me perfect. I love this. There's a lot of room in the shoulder area. And I, again, I was picturing knee-high boots with this, and that's what I did. Wore it with my Stuart Wiseman boots, and I think it's such a cute look. Like, you can even wear this during the summer if you wanted on an evening with some stunners and aviator glasses. It's a very edgy look. Love this. Super cute, really sexy and edgy at the same time. Okay, so that is my thrift haul and try on for petite sizes slash regular sizes. I have so much fun thrift shopping. You never know what you're gonna find. It's like a challenge for me. And if you're someone that loves to shop and find really unique pieces for a great price, I think it's just, I don't know, it's just my new hobby. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this haul. Um, leave a comment down below if you guys enjoyed it or give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I really appreciate you guys so much. Hope you guys are enjoying your holiday season and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you, have a great day, bye-bye.